Well, today's a good day. Finally, spring has showed up here, so we are going to get the trailer ready to go and get the cover off it and get it dewinterized. Now that I got the cover off, I'm going to put the batteries in and make sure they kept their charge all winter long on their trickle charger. So all winter long, we've had the batteries on this trickle charger charging up, so hopefully they will be good to go. Um, now just packing them over and getting them put in. Now for the fun part of getting the batteries into their little bins um, and get them all hooked up. Looks like the batteries work. Well, on Sunday we started unwinterizing the trailer, but we got rained out. So now it's time to finish. What we're going to start off with is putting some water in the uh, fresh tank to kind of flush it out a little bit and just let it drain. Then we'll put some more in it and turn on the pump and see how that goes. Hopefully there's no lines that froze. We've been doing this a while and haven't frozen a line, but you never know. So fingers crossed. to make sure the fridge works, the water heater, pump the lines, um, make sure that nothing froze, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we're still good. So far, so good. Oh, I'm just going to turn the fridge onto propane for right now, and um, make sure the propane lights and that's all done, and then we'll try it on electric after we make sure the propane works. All right, so we've turned on the propane and it's saying no propane coming in. So I'm going to check and see if we're getting any flow from the stove here. The propane wasn't turning on. I had the bottle on but I hadn't switched the dial over from the empty bottle to the full bottle. Newbie mistake. Are you filming? Mm-hmm. So it's still saying that we're not getting any propane. What I think is it's coming in here 
it's getting down here, but the igniter's not catching over. So I'm gonna take this apart and check that out. Clean it off. know if you can see down in here but right down in here is where the sparker comes in it gets full of dust and dirt so if you clean that off usually it'll take care of your problem so I'm gonna clean that off and hopefully that does what we need it to do We have spark and ignition. Just had to clean the little bit of dust off that. Just one of those little tricks that just after the year, it builds up on there and it seems like every year we have to do this. Luckily we don't have to take it into somebody and pay a service fee just to have them clear off a little piece of dust because they will charge you a lot of money for doing that. Now to put it all back together, but at least the propane's working on the fridge, which makes it great for boondocking. Next project, the water heater. This is the one that always gives me trouble because I seem to turn the wrong valves. <laughs> so, I'm gonna remove, oh, let me grab my wrench. Usually there's water in there, right? Yeah. That comes spraying out. That's really hot. <laughs> but not too I, I winterized it, so. Okay. Now I'm going to go play with some valves. There we are. Alright, so now I need to get in there and turn the right valves the right direction to start filling up the water heater and flush out all the lines from their um, antifreeze. Okay. So I have all the valves open. Just flushing out. All the antifreeze. In the different lines. line off and everything shuts off that means your pump has filled all the lines and there's no leaks anywhere else your pump would keep pumping so that way you don't have to go around every sink and look for every little leak everything's working um, now we need to do the hot water heater and make sure all the hot water lines are good Okay, so I hear water going into the hot water heater. I'm just going to let that pump for a second in case I accidentally got any, you know, um, antifreeze 
into the hot water heater and it'll just kind of flush it out. So if we step out here, now I'm going to turn off the pump, put in my plug, and um, fill it up and make sure everything's good. So we're seeming to get a good flow out of there. Um, just rinsing anything out that was in there. I'm going to put some thread tape on to make sure it gets a good hold. And then we will screw it into place. Okay, now I'm going to put the um, pump back on and make sure that this is sealed up and not leaking. One thing I like to do is open this vent so it'll let off the pressure so that way the air is out of it and the water is filling up the hot water heater. When it's full it'll start coming out of here right here. Um, so we'll just keep an eye on that. While we're filling up the hot water heater with water, I'm going to turn on the propane and see if it'll light to make sure it'll start heating up the water that's in there. So let's go turn on the propane. So we have propane hot water heater, electric wa hot water heater right here. So I'm going to turn on my propane one, light comes on, signifying that it's heating up right now. So let's go on, look outside and make sure it turned on. Uh -oh. oh, there it is. There we go. We have the hot water heater full, propane's working to the water heater, and to the fridge. Yep, starting to get a little bit cold in there already. Yep, fill in the cold. Now I'm going to make sure that the hot water is going to come back out if I've turned all the valves the right way. So that's the next step in this process. Got the water heater working, the fridge working, um, tested all the lines, the water pump works, everything seems good as of right now. We still need to wash the outside of the trailer because it's filthy after sitting all winter even though we washed it right before we put the cover on. Uh, make sure she shines for this weekend. Yeah, and I think that's about it. Um, unwinterizing your trailer is pretty easy. Just make sure you go through your steps and double check all your lines and all that sort of stuff. Nothing you can't, you know, figure out. So, hopefully this helps you out. And as always, remember, enjoy your weekend. Thanks.